A career criminal thanking Democrats for the bail reform law that is keeping him out of prison. That's even after more than 130 arrests. Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez defending the law, saying we need to give it more time. But can New Yorkers afford to wait? Joining me to debate that is Democratic political analyst Kelly Hyman and New York GOP Councilman Joe Borelli. Thank you both for being here. Appreciate it. Thank okay, you. Good morning. Let's go ahead and pull up this uh, person's arrest profile. Charles Barry is his name. For those of you who are at home, look at this. Arrested 139 times, six felony arrests, 87 misdemeanors, 21 missed court hearings. And this is what he had to say outside the NYPD Transit in District 1. Quote, bail reform, it's lit. It's the Democrats. The Democrats know me and the Republicans fear me. You can't touch me. I can't be stopped. I mean, Kelly, that is a little bit disturbing to hear. Yes, but we can't just cherry pick one isolated incident and use that as the poster board saying that this should change. We need to give the reform time. We have to understand what the reform is about. They tried it in 2017 in Brooklyn, New York, and they found it to be very successful. Rather than have people being put in jail, a lot of people can't afford bail, and this gives them an opportunity to get out. Now, the judge, if the judge decides that the on hard, you know, felonies and stuff like that, that the person should be in jail and do not allow ba bail, the judge can do that. But we need to give this time in order to make a determination and not just cherry pick one isolated incident and say that this is the end all be all and forget this uh, reform. But Joe, sometimes doesn't it take just one incident that could perhaps be worse for well, something bad to happen? But, well, sure. If you're the victim, the one time that it affects you is 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 probably the worst thing that it can be. I imagine people like AOC may not have ever been the victim of a serious crime. Uh, otherwise, but she this might doesn't have allow for serious crimes. Well, they can on, go no, back no, and be in bail. Well, you know, Kelly, and, and on, you, you made a very interesting point about uh, be, there being one incident. This person was was arrested 139 times. He came out of jail and he laughed at the American public. He laughed at the New York City voters who voted for Democrats in the first place. Look, I don't want people to, to be put in jail because they can't afford bail. That shouldn't be the only uh, determining factor of whether you're remanded or not. But other states uh, like New Jersey and elsewhere did bail reform. They did end cash bail and they had the competence to actually do it uh, with giving judges the discretion to take people like Mr. Perry and keep him behind bars so that he can't get out the very next day uh, and laugh at us and commit more crimes. That's the, the difference between responsibility uh, and what we have here in New York State. I would disagree with that. The judge still, still has the ability to put people in jail. It's not taking that away. It's saving the taxpayers of New York um, a lot of money so, because of this. We need to give this time and not Kelly, rush okay. into something. Kelly, how much time then is appropriate in your mind? I think we I think we need time to let it to go through. Um, at least give it six months to see how it works out. It was very successful in Brooklyn, New York. Their crime is down the lowest it's ever been in murders, and they implemented this. The prosecutors then why did is the not. The Brooklyn district attorney himself saying that this is something that has to be changed. Brooklyn was doing it on their own. They still had the ability to remand the most serious violent criminals. And they still we have no the more, ability no, to no, do no, that I'm sorry. now. We don't have the ability as long yes, as it you meets do. That is a false uh, narrative. If, if that is not true. If it's offensive crime, they have the ability to do they that. Do not. That is not, that's not the case. Democrats, moderate Democrats. Even Bill de Blasio is saying this is crazy. Bill de Blasio is on the side of law and order because Democrats in this state have Kelly, failed the taxpayers. Joe, I, I that get, is, Kelly, I want to ask you a question. What's the upside in your opinion of this? We understand that a lot of people can't afford bail, but what is the upside for members of the community who might be impacted by some of these crimes? Absolutely. Well, we have to first look at the types of crimes these are, and these are not um, crimes in regards to, to felonies or any kind of um, abuse. The judge has discretion. Most of these are um, drug crimes, and so it saves the taxpayers a lot of money by not having someone sit in jail because they can't afford to but I get just, bail. But I just think that, and Joe, chime in here, I think that there might be people at home saying, okay, drug crimes, sure, but I still don't want that in my neighborhood. No, but there's also robbery. Uh, 
there's also arson. There's also filming child pornography. If this, if it makes me an evil person to think not only that this has to be mandatory jail remanding, but just to ha give judges discretion, then this call me an evil person. This does give judges discretion. That, no, no, the no, judges no. can do counseling think, and monitoring. That you is a false narrative. That, if, if that is creating are, fear and cherry-picking ideas. Uh, misdemeanor charge in New York State, Kelly, you will not get charged Joe, with cash bail. I'm sorry to interrupt. We are out of time. Though. Good morning. But it, it's 4:40 in the morning, and that was a very lively, spirited debate. And we hope that we can have the conversation again. Thank you both for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. Happy President's Day. You too. Thank you.